Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, I got another review video here for you. Um, I've actually been making a lot of these recently. I've sort of gotten back in the hang of making these. Um, anyways, so today's review, um, we got another collection of things here and uh, I guess I'll start going through these. So first we got some books here and of course I won't really read through the every page of the book but I'll just kind of show you what these are. So this is a uh, personal computers, what they are and how to use them book, guidebook I guess. Um, and it's by Byron G. Wells. And the front cover there shows a old style computer. Um, and open this up, I got this from a, uh, a library at uh, a school was throwing these out because they were outdated. Here's the uh, the stamped card looks like still in there. As here's eighty six, eighty nine. There's um, October of eighty one stamped. There is October of eighty three stamped. I mean not October, sorry, April, September, everything like that. Very cool. Um, oh, here we go. So the copyright of this book is 1978 by uh, Traf Trafalgar House, House Publishing Inc. Um, it says all rights reserved, everything like that. And the table of contents, so you got how to buy a computer, what makes the computer tick, peripheral equipment, programming a computer, the computer store, maintaining the personal computer, the future is here today, and then glossary. So back when, when computers like these were um, like first came out and all that they didn't have internet so these are all just kind of like program things but a lot of them had floppy disk readers and you had like codes and all that that you'd uh, write down but here is like some things here it's um you know different ways uh let's see whoops let me go back i flip way too far ahead um the computer store yeah i saw a picture in here oh here we go yeah yeah, yeah. here we go this shows different types of keyboards here um so there's a, a keyboard uh, IMSAI IKB1 keyboard and an Apple II Apple II computer or keyboard um, as you can see Apple's come a long way since this um, but uh, yeah very interesting there are some other pictures in here too I'm pretty sure um, here's a supermarket checkout wow that's uh, pretty old now it's just like an all electronic and screen or like that there's like a uh, where you used to go to a store and purchase and they the catch register and all that pretty cool and there's like a a, uh, a picture like of some like a, a barcode it's hard to believe that one time barcodes were new um did this some books have barcodes on it yeah this oh this book well it's from the library you know what uh, yeah that never mind that's not like a barcode from a store um yeah that's uh an old barcode there yeah the reason why they had this probably because it's like modern day people check these check it out before they got rid of the book check it out and they would scan it but not whenever it first was published and given to the school um but yeah very cool to see a lot of these things yeah there we go it says um most products already display the universal product code hmm product code um interesting i never really heard people call it a product code i mean product code um but yep very cool personal computers personal computers and how to use them. Let's see, on the back here, they got um, some other books to look for. Um, let's see, how to program your programmable calculator, small business computers, personal computers, video books, and telecourses. Wow, telecourses. Video user's handbook, my Pete UTZ. Use, whatever, I don't know. But telecourses, wow, that's an, that's an old, old term there. Now things like on Zoom and all that. And so, come a long way. Very cool. All right, so this here um, is a, uh, a guidebook to a Texas Instrument TI-35 Plus um, calculator, scientific calculator. And this copyrights in 86, 1986. And so, nowadays you have like the TI-84, or TI-82, I think, so we've come pretty far. That number's gotten larger as the day's gone by. It's 35, now, uh, back in 86, now it's like 84, maybe even higher than that by now, I'm not really sure. Um, but different, like, memory options continued. Um, you know, a lot of these symbols actually look very similar to, like, how a calculator looks today, because, like, 
you know, on C, like on or clear. It looks very similar to today, but of course, I wish I had a picture in this book of how the calculator looks. Maybe they do somewhere. Hang on. Let me see. Um, maybe not. I get to learn how to uh, plot graphs, a normal distribution graph. Yeah, the bell-shaped curve graph. How about that? But yeah, very interesting. This is just a text instrument guidebook, I guess. Somewhere along the way, this came with a, a Texas Instrument calculator. Um, but yeah, very cool. Very interesting to see these things. But yeah, all right. Okay, I guess next I'm going on to this. I know we got another book in the corner there, and I got the grand finale here. Uh, but I'll uh, show this right here. This is a, uh, I guess all this is kind of like school stuff, really. Like old school or, or office stuff, really. Um, this is a Boston Model 18 electric pencil sharpener. I don't, I don't know if you can read that very well. It says Model 18 um, electric pencil sharpener, uh, Hunt MFG Co. So I couldn't figure out the exact date that these were made at. I saw one, I think that came out like in the 80s, and then uh, I think one in the late 70s too. I'm not sure because you had like Model 19 which came out afterwards. I think you had Model 17 that came out before. Um, but the motor actually still turns. There is a problem with the gear. Um, it's a plastic, so whenever they built these things they used a plastic gear and over the years that plastic gear has kind of worn down in certain areas. And so I can buy a replacement gear and think I could fix it and all that because it's kind of easy to take apart and work on. Um, but I'll let you hear the, uh, the motor spin because it'll probably sound very familiar to people who grew up here in these pencil sharpeners. Um, there we go. So this is already a, this is already a pencil that's already sharp, a wooden pencil, but it shouldn't, it's not going to sharpen, but here we go, you can hear this though. Yep, making that sound. So the motor still spins, it's just that the gear won't turn to sharpen anything. Um, but one thing that you can see, we cut light, my light on here. Um, so there's this drawer right here that opens up to all the pencil shavings here. But you can kind of you can kind of see up in there to like where the the blade is that spins around. But yeah, the gear that's worn out is kind of back behind a lot of these this that blade up there and everything. You can't really you can't really see it from here. But yeah, very cool. Um, I need to get a replacement, replacement gear and um, fix it. But yeah, that was sort of a common problem with these I've, I've saw online. A lot of uh, the Model 18 and Model 19 have the same problem. The gear starts wearing down over, over the years. All right, very cool. Um, okay, I guess the last two things. So one, these two kind of play in each other. They're kind of like they play in to the same kind of um, thing. So we got uh, another guidebook, handbook kind of thing. This actually kind of ties into the thing back behind everything. Um, this is a Tandy getting started with extended color basic. So basic was the uh, the code uh, that, as a type of code. On the back of the book says Radio Shack, a division of Tandy Corporation, uh, USA, Fort Worth, Texas. Yep, that's where the uh, the headquarters used to be. Um, Tandy Corporation. I guess it's like different countries they have countries they have it in Canada, Australia, Belgium, and United Kingdom, and of course USA. Um, very cool, but inside this book, oh, let's see, what was the copyright on this thing? Let me check the copyright right here. Copyright, 84, that's the copyright right there. And, um, but, so, here is some, uh, different guidelines here for, let's see, here's writing. Um, I guess it's like how to edit lines. Just don't throw away that line, edit it. Um, just talking about, this. Very simple nowadays. You take a mouse, just click wherever you want to to edit something like a Word document. So that's that's interesting. Um, but it's interesting seeing like the cartoons they have written. Oh wow! How about this? Look at that. The real thing, a spiral. It's like different art. That's actually really cool. Wow! Like art or or designs to make. Spiral and fantastic. Wow. Um, wow. Some more stuff. How about that? Rolling in the clover. Random graphics. Riding the waves. Wow. So it's how to make a lot of that stuff. Um, it's kind of funny seeing the cartoon there, like the computer, <laughs> of on different in different situations. But very cool, very interesting. Well, that kind of leads into this last thing, which I got right here. Um,
this here is a original Tandy 64K color color computer two, which was um, released. This one was released in '84, um, but the whole color computer two um, Tandy color computer two is, was uh, released from the years of '83 to '86, and then Tandy got to advertising a 64K color computer two in '84. Um, I hope to eventually find something that I can test this out with, but it's still everything seems to be in working order, like the keyboard. Um, you have, um, I guess like a dip, like a floppy disk maybe to go in there. I don't exactly know what that, what that is. It, something goes in there. Uh, and then in the back here, you got some ports. You got a reset button over here. Um, here's some ports. Once it is that, it's either. CAS or G, I think it's CAS, C A S S. Um, a lot of these I have no idea what they even are. Uh, <laughs> but um, there's one that says serial one and one slash zero joystick right and left, channel uh, selection, two TV. I guess you have two TV, or there's a power button right there. Um, there we go. And I think um, this cover can come off so we can see what's inside. I think I can get this to work. There we go. There's the cover here. Nothing very really special about that. It's just a plastic cover. Still in good shape though. So here I'm gonna cut my light back on again so we can see everything in good detail here. There we go. Um, so here is the inside of a 64 color computer too. Um, so yeah, very cool. Uh, there's all kinds of circuit boards and circuits and everything, and uh, components and everything. I don't really know a lot of the components, um, but maybe somebody down below in the comments can write like, oh, this does this, and that does this. Um, but yeah, um, now, judging just by judging by the way it looks, it still looks like it's in really good shape. Um, now, of course, I don't know that 100% because I haven't plugged it up and tested it out, but it looks like it's in really good shape. Um, the wires are still connected right there, um, and everything. Very cool. Um, there's the door over here, the door right there. Um, but yeah, very cool. Uh, let me, is there anything underneath there? Oh, there is something underneath there. Let me, let me put the lid back on and I'll see what that, that is underneath. Let's see. Should fit right over everything just pretty well. Let's see. There we go. Like that. Let me see what's in the bottom of this here. There is the old Radio Shack logo right there where it says Radio Shack. Um, let's see. Double insulated. When servicing, use only identical replacement parts. Oh, here we go. Here's TRS-80. That's that's the Tandy, um, I guess is the model of it. 64K computer, color computer 2. Voltage frequency aperture. Uh, I don't know how well you can see that on the camera there. There we go. Um, product of Korea. Um, it's taking a lot of stuff from Realistic, or not Realistic, well Realistic's Radio Shack brand too, but a lot of Radio Shack stuff's from Korea, because I've been seeing a lot of that stuff recently in my videos. Um, refer to user's manual for warranties and limitations of liability. I guess, I wonder if these came, like, at the same time. I wonder if these came at the same time. Probably did, or if they didn't, they came really close together. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anything else on here that's, um... Here is a thing that says breaking, let's see if I can get this turned right here so I can read this. Breaking seal void your service warranty. So I would say that the service warranty has long since been broken. Um, but yeah, this is about 41 years old, I'm pretty sure. I think if I got that right, let's see, 2024 to 84. Um, well, it's actually not 41, that's I think, I think it's just 40 years. Yep. That's right, so this is a 40 year old computer. Um, definitely have come a long way. Um, one addition that we've come below is it is the actual screen. Um, see this right here does not have a screen that goes with it. You have to supply like a computer or a TV or something like that to go with it. Now they have a screen that goes up. But yeah, very cool. That's a nice sounding keyboard actually. I know some people like the way the keyboard sound. That sounds pretty good. But yeah. Um, I th this does plug up. I think you can hear a click sound, something coming on. Let's see if we can hear this click sound. Okay, it's plugged up. Yeah, something. There's a click. 
in here. You can hear it. Hang on. Let's see if we can hear this. Yeah, something's there. Something's clicking in there. I'm not sure what that is, but that does actually show that there's life in here somehow. Life. Um, but yeah, um, I guess like I say on all my videos that um, I don't have things hooked up, or and I usually say this in all my videos. Um, hopefully, I can do an updated video one day of actually showing this working. Now, of course, it probably has limitations to what it can do, but still, though, it'd be cool to have set up somewhere um, and to use. And well, I don't know if you can use much with it, but just to play with and write basic codes and all that. But oh, my light died. How about that? Um, Let's see, let me get this, everything set back up here. Alright, here's everything back to the way it was, or close, anyway, closer, whatever, anyway. But uh, yeah, a tiny computer and all kinds of books and a pistol sharpener. This is more like, this is kind of like the office, well, yeah, office stuff, school stuff, school stuff, like the, this thing. But anyway, um, I think I covered everything. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't see that. There's interesting here. This thing says break. The key says break. That's not on the keyboards anymore. So that's a new sort of a key that's been dis dis disappeared. But uh, I haven't noticed that. See, if I've noticed one thing before I cut the camera, I'm sure I'll notice something else after I finish, finish videoing. <laughs> but anyway, I guess with that being said, have a great day. Take it away, Hayden. Have a great day. Be seeing you.